New today, a big day on Clemson University's campus with first year students getting settled in. But move-in day is just the beginning of much more excitement. Foss Carolina's Myra Weege joins us live from Clemson's campus. And Myra is going to be a hot one for parents and students. It sure is. So fortunately, they only have 30 minutes to actually unload. So that does, you know, mandate a limit on their time out in the heat. Um, so we already see at least one family getting ready to move in here. But joining us live to tell us a little bit more about what students can expect once they get settled in is Dr. Chris Miller. He is Clemson's VP for Student Affairs and the Dean of Students. Thanks so much for joining us. You know, uh, they have so much to look forward to this year, right? Absolutely, Mara. I will tell you, we are thrilled. Every year we get the same kind of energy as it relates to this campus and our students and our families, I mean, it is palpable. And when we talk about move in, it is the very first day. We always talk about if we had the ability to quantify the growth and development of our students, it actually starts today. Yeah. yeah, you know, so this is uh, Douthat Hill and uh, a, a great place because you can see Tillman Hall and from this whole, I guess it's the spine of the hill right here. Yes, indeed. Indeed. This this area right here is a relatively new development for us. I mean, we have invested considerable amount of resources in the last decade here, and this just happens to be one of it. It is a state of the art facility. It's a place where students can come and grow and develop. And we are just really, really pleased to be able to Prevent, provide this for our students and it's once again just fantastic. Yeah, well Clemson provided us a breakdown of the, the class that the class of 2027 that's starting this fall and uh, if we can show folks a, a little bit more about this, tell sure. us about how many students are here and where they're coming from. Great, well all over the state and also our, our um, out of state students as well, but there are all kinds of students coming from Columbia, from Spartanburg, um, all kinds of, I mean, our largest college today is um, our College of Business, followed by engineering. So clearly we have an awful lot of students coming into those curriculums. Uh, when we talk about this particular class, this class of 27, we had over 60,000 applicants. 60,000 applicants for 4,500 slots. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. So this institution is clearly on a trajectory, and we are not shy or embarrassed to talk about this is the point of destination. Uh, yeah. We are the number one university in the state of South Carolina, and uh, we take a lot of pride in that. Oh, yes, you know, it's going to be, um, you know, a lot of excitement ahead for the students, but first, they're going to have to get through the battle with today's heat. You know, what's going to happen with that? Is it, is it hot today? <laughs> <laughs> um, South Carolina heat, South Carolina in August, it is typical, right? Mm -hmm. um, but as I said before, the energy that comes with this, it is not even a factor, right? I mean, you've got families coming in, you have students that are making this transition for the first time, you know, separating from their parents and their family. Believe me when I tell you, the climate is the least of their worries. <laughs> but water will be nearby Absolutely. and shade as well. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we picked this point, you know, as, as, as the reason for it, right? Yeah. But yeah, I will tell you, you know, we want to make sure that they're all hydrated, right? So water will be available uh, during the move-in. We have volunteers that are constantly here and are aware and people that are helping out and things of that nature. But once again, just a remarkable time in terms of this part of their life journey. Yeah, definitely a first chapter for all these students beginning uh, their move in today and uh, definitely doing it with uh, the heat in mind and trying to stay hydrated as well. Thank you so much, Dr. Miller. I'm Myra Ruiz reporting live from Clemson. Back to you.